In this chapter, we will talk about schedule line categories. What is a schedule line? We have talked about document types like OR, ZOR, QT, IN, which control how the document in general behaves. You can also call it as controlling the header because most of the properties that the document type controls are in the header. Now what controls the line item? Item category. Example, TAN, TAP, TAD. One is for the standard item category, one is for bill of materials, one is for service, and so on. So they control how the line item behaves. So we have the header here, we have the line item here, and then what's left out? Schedule lines. These are the three main components of the sales order. Go back to the sales order deep dive chapters if you need a refresher on this. Now, CP, CN, these are some examples of schedule lines. We are going to talk about them going forward, but they control how the schedule line behaves. Let me give you a quick refresher on schedule lines. What is a schedule line? A schedule line in plain English is a schedule of delivery. Let's talk about a business scenario. Here is a customer he goes to Dell.com and is looking at configuring a computer. If he selects a part that is not really available, there will be a warning message that says that the shipment is going to be delayed by, say, two weeks. Why does that happen? Because the part is not readily available. Maybe Dell procures it from another vendor and it's going to take two weeks. In the case of Dell, uh, it's, it's not very relevant. But typically, in B2B businesses, a customer most of the time asks for a date. The date when the goods needs to be delivered by. That date is called the requested delivery date. Say today is the 3rd of October and the customer is asking for the goods by the 10th of October. So today is when the order is happening in VA01. The customer places an order of type OR, line item 10, material M01, quantity 1. So we have the header controlled by the document type OR and the line item controlled by the item category. And if you go to the line item, you have a section called schedule lines. There is a separate tab called schedule lines. And there you would have information on the schedule of delivery. Say the quantity at the line item level is 15. And what is the date the customer asked for? It's the 10th of October. And the quantity requested by the customer is 15. And then there is another column called quantity confirmed. So, can the company deliver the quantity that the customer has asked for 
by the 10th of October? What does it depend on? Of course, the available stock quantity. How much stock do we have in hand as of that date? There's a separate topic on it called scheduling and availability check, but we're going to learn about it in a much later chapter. For now, let's say that we don't have the quantity of 15 in stock by the 10th of October. So SAP puts a quantity of zero in the confirmed quantity column. Say we can deliver the goods by the 20th of October. So we put a confirmed quantity of 15 in a new schedule line row for the 20th of October. So anybody can understand by just looking at the schedule lines, the customer originally asked for a quantity of 15 by the 10th of October and the quantity could not be confirmed by the 10th because we see a zero there. However, on the 20th of October, the quantity confirmed is set to 15. So let's not worry about how we arrive at the date with the 20th October date that the system has confirmed the goods for. We would not be able to understand it until we cover the availability check and scheduling chapter like I discussed before. But for now, just understand that the schedule line is where the confirmed quantity and the dates are available. Now that we know how the schedule lines are created, we can understand the schedule line category better because that's what controls how the schedule line behaves.